How will you know when you've officially made it in your music career? What's the milestone for you? Have you defined it yet? Uh, is it quitting your side hustle? Is that when you've made it? Or is it getting a record deal or getting a publishing deal, winning a Grammy, getting a million followers or 10 million followers on some social media platform? What is making it? What does that look like? Everybody's got a different version of that. Some people would just be happy being able to support their family in music. Some people won't be happy until they reach some huge star status. Um, first of all, let me dispel a couple of myths and let me just burst the bubble and say that I guarantee you far more musicians than you would ever suspect professional musicians actively have a side hustle going on. I can't even tell you how many people I know personally who this year posted photos of themselves at the Grammys going red carpet. Um, people that I'm like, I didn't even know they were going to the Grammys this year, you know, and I know for a fact these people still have totally non-music related side hustles that they are doing still. People who have been featured on tracks by very well-known, famous musicians still doing their side hustle. People who previously won Grammys that are still doing side hustles or had to go back to the side hustle. Here's the thing. The business keeps changing and people who rise to the top don't stay there most of the time. They come back down. And if you're defining success... And most seriously, if you're putting off happiness uh, until a certain point, if you're using a certain milestone before you will consider yourself to have made it or to be able to be happy, that's a losing mentality. Um, just find a side hustle that you don't hate. That's one thing. But also, just realize that your perception of the successful people may not be based on reality, and your perception of how they're actually paying their bills may be incomplete. They they might have incomes. They might own rental properties, or they might do catering on the side, or they might do haircuts on the side. I know extremely talented musicians, and I've seen them picking up Uber Eats orders at restaurants. And I'll tell you. There are not many publishing deals that are good enough that would allow someone to not have a side hustle. Publishing deals, those people still have side hustles. I know people who were nominated for awards for their albums and they were still waiting tables while they were, you know, on this ballot to be nominated for an award. So please don't put off being happy with your career and with yourself and with your life contingent upon reaching some milestone. And please don't, don't have this undefined thing that you've never even named what it is, but you won't be happy until blank, but it's left blank. Like, don't do that. Get real about what other people's lives really are like. Learn to find contentment with the present. And if you do have a milestone of what you consider making it, I'm not going to take that away from you. I'm not going to tell you that's wrong or bad. For me, I didn't even really think about it ahead of time, but it was the day that I could, and this is really true. I'm not making a joke. It was the day that I could afford to go get acupuncture. When I got to the point where I was making enough money that I could afford to go get acupuncture, I was like, this is a threshold. Like I've crossed a threshold because my husband and I both do music. You know, we're both musicians. So we, we was po, you know, for a long, long time with graduate school loans. And we were scraping like for a really long time, just hoping somebody would hire us. And when I could finally afford acupuncture, I felt like I'd made it. So I encourage you to come to terms with the side hustle. Don't be embarrassed by it. Way more people have side hustles than you think. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I know people who have fronted like major acts that are now doing real estate. It happens. It's what happens. It's like a lava lamp. 
some going up, others going down and bouncing up and down. Um, the person that you envy today could be the one that you have sympathy for tomorrow. It's true. So make peace with a side hustle. If you've got a milestone you want to meet, by all means, strive for it. But don't wait to be happy until you meet that milestone. Be happy now. And just enjoy the journey, friends. Life is short. <laughs>